Reggae may not have had the largest of collections at Basel 2017, but what they may have lacked in quantity, they definitely over-delivered on in quality. Here are our top three picks. Starting off with the classics. The classic 7147. This is pure reggae. Thin, elegant, traditional design with a single piece of perfectly fired enamel dial, meticulously painted with that eccentric minute track, those blued hands, and that sort of soft curve of the enamel subdial. It's just a beautiful watch in white gold. What's not to love? Keeping with the classic theme, there's a new version of the 7787. It's now cased in white gold and it adds a little bit of complexity to the mix. There's that romantic moon phase at 12 and the off-center power reserve near 3 and of course the same simple fluted case, those applied lugs and then there's the Breguet numerals. But Breguet isn't just about keeping things simple. They also do mind-bendingly complex very well. So the absolute star of Breguet's collection, and I would go so far as to say one of the best watches of Basel 2017, is the very complicated Marine Equation Marchant 5887. Okay, so it's got a tourbillon, it's got retrograde date, days, month, leap year indicator, all the stuff that we come to know and expect. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the running equation of time. If you've never heard of the equation of time, that's okay. It's one of the more theoretical complications in the business. What it does is it tells you the difference between solar and civil time. Any given point in the year, there's a minus 16 or plus 14 minute variation between the current time and the actual position of the Earth and Sun. What Breguet have done is they've displayed this information in a really new way. They've used that, see that, that hand there with a the stylized representation of the sun on it? That is a constant running equation of time. It's incredible. So rather than use the, the, the easy way out of displaying the EOT on a separate subdial, that uh, kidney bean-ish shaped cam around the tourbillon and some very clever engineering been able to make it run simultaneously so you can get a real-time indication of solar versus civil time. Absolutely incredible stuff from Breguet, proving once again that they're not just the masters of the classic, but also the masters of highly mechanical, complex engineering. Well done, Breguet.